Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Surf Prep Sander versus the Festool Sander. Now, both of these sanders are great options, but they have different strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to know what those are before making a purchase. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a closer look at each one. All right, I've had the Surf Prep 3x4 sander for a few years now, but I recently bought the Festool RTS 400 REQ sander to help you decide which is the best fit for your needs. Check out the description for the links to the sanders and the accessories we're sharing about today. Let's start with the pros and cons of the Surf Prep sander. If you're looking for a versatile, powerful sander for furniture, the Surf Prep sander is a great option. It's compact and easy to maneuver, making it ideal for tight spaces, but the 3x4 sanding pad gives you plenty of surface area to work with. The Surf Prep 3x4 sander also has a powerful motor and three different speeds that lets you adjust the speed to suit your needs. Whether you're trying to remove old paint or stain, scuff sanding or sanding between the coats, the Surf Prep 3x4 sander is up to the task. It's been my go-to sander for a few years now. It's lightweight and small. It can connect to a shop vac for dust collection. It removes paint quickly and efficiently. It's quieter than most other electric sanders. It has a small footprint to help you get into tight spaces. And Surf Prep's customer service is top notch. But it is the more expensive option and I don't personally love the lever for the on off switch. Now onto the Festool RTS 400 REQ sander. It's a great choice for anyone looking to tackle furniture projects. It can handle scuff sanding, removing paint and stain, and sanding in between coats as well. It's powerful enough to remove tough finishes, but it's also very easy to control, so you can get a nice even finish. It has a built-in dust collection system with some of its own suction that keeps your workspace clean. I love this feature so much. In addition, it also has a variable speed control dial so you can adjust the speed of the sander to suit your needs. And it comes with a few different attachments and a storage case, which is awesome. I have been pretty impressed with it while I've just been testing it out for a couple of weeks now. It is cheaper than the Surf Prep 3x4 sander. It has a built-in dust extraction system with some suction of its own. It removes paint quickly and efficiently, quieter than most other sanders. It comes with extra accessories and it has an on off switch, which I love, but it is slightly heavier than the Surf Prep and it is larger than the Surf Prep. Okay, so how do they work? Both the Surf Prep 3x4 sander and the Festool RTS 400 REQ are orbital sanders that work with hook and loop abrasive pads to sand down the surface of your furniture. Both of these sanders are easy to use and they have less vibration than most other sanders on the market. For me, the Surf Prep's small profile and slightly less weight make it more comfortable to sand vertical surfaces, but the Festool feels more comfortable when I'm sanding a flat surface that is level with the ground. The Surf Prep sander weighs 2.47 pounds while the Festool sander weighs 2.65 pounds. So it's not that big of a difference. I noticed that the Festool isn't as jumpy as the Surf Prepper sander is too. As far as performance goes, both of these sanders are about on par with each other. They both remove paint, same varnish at about the same rate, it seems. I tested three different surfaces, setting a timer for either three or four minutes, depending on the surface. On the top of the table and on the edges, the Festool looks like it removed more of the finish in the allotted time. But on the sides of the table, the Surf Prep removed more of the finish in the same amount of time. The Surf Prep has 4,000, 7,000, and 9,000 RPM while the Festool has 6,000 through 12,000 RPM. The Surf Prep has a sanding stroke of three millimeters, while the Festool has a sanding stroke of two millimeters. So technically, the bigger the stroke, the more material you can remove. The Surf Prep has a pad size of three inches by four inches, 
while the Festool sander has a pad size of 3 and 1 8 inch by 5 and 1 quarter inch, approximately. All right, now for the price. The Surf Prep 3x4 sander is more expensive than the Festool. And here is a price breakdown at the time of recording this. All right, the Surf Prep 3x4 sander is $532.99. The flexible vacuum hose I have on it is $16.25. The vacuum hose adapter to connect the hose to the shop back was $11. The pad saver is $2.75. And the soft gray interface pad is $11.55. So we have a grand total of $574.54. But if you use my discount code, RAY10, you get 10% off your order. So it comes to $517.09. All right, so the Festool RTS 400 REQ sander costs $289. The Festool suction hose that I bought to connect it to my shop vac was $135. The pad saver two pack is $13 and the soft interface pads two pack is $18.84 for a grand total of $455.84. So that difference is $61 with the surf prep being $61 more than the fest tool with all of the setup costs. Keep in mind that you also have to purchase the abrasive pads separately and this price does not include a shop vac or a dust extraction system. I personally bought Surf Prep pads for Festool and Surf Prep abrasives from Surf Prep that work with both sanders. Okay, you might be asking, what are those interface pads for? So the interface pads for both sanders are squishy pads that you can put hook and loop sandpaper on to turn it into foam sponge sandpaper. They are a great alternative to surf prep foam sponges and you can easily change out the grit of sandpaper on them. You can also use them in conjunction with the foam pads to make the pads even more flexible. The pad savers are kind of similar. Just like the name implies, the pad savers will help protect the expensive sander pads from getting ruined. I place a pad saver on my sander in between the sander and the sandpaper every time I use it. I always have a couple of these around the shop. Overall, I think that the Surf Prep Sander and the Festool Sander are both great sanders, but they have a few key differences. If you need a sander for vertical surfaces or if you're concerned about weight while using your sander, then I'd recommend going with the Surf Prep 3 x 4 inch sander. If you have a lot of large flat surfaces to sand or want better dust collection, then I would recommend the Festool Sander. Regardless of which sander you choose, be sure to pick up some surf prep sanding sponges to take advantage of the versatility of sanding curves and details. Those are amazing. At the end of the day, both sanders will offer great results, so it really comes down to your personal preferences and needs. Which one do you think is the winner? If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.